In this video I'm going to show you a nice technique to organize your scenes. Uh, you might have realized I've got a couple of flags in this scene. I've got the blue flag to represent the beginning of the level and if we go right to the end I've got the green one to represent the end. So you might be wondering why this is important. Well as your scene gets more complex, I'm not saying this is a complex scene, this is basically a straight line, but as they get more complex you'll need to organize your scene a bit better to, to uh, educate yourself about what's going on because there will be loads of events happening around your scene and uh, you need to know where they're happening and stuff so for example I've, I've got some guides here if I go to my textures and guides I've got a bunch of flags and a target like if if uh, we put a target down maybe an enemy can come out and stuff so these guides are really important and I've got a shader here and it's it emits light so the surrounding light won't manipulate this object so if it's really dark we'll still be able to see it so that's really important and uh, for this example I've, I've got the texture on both sides but this one's upside down so what we're going to do now is create another one so if we go into Maya firstly all you need to do is uh, create a very thin board just like that guys don't really matter alright um, make it a bit thinner so straight away I'm going to assign a new material go to a Lambert and uh, file so I'm going to jump into my project I'm already in it and uh, choose a texture so yellow flag will do let's do that and straight away it's not in the right position so let's go to our UVs alright guys so go into a face so you need that so what I'm going to do is bring it to the top for a sec turn around let's cut it out so in Unity, this one's upside down, so let's just uh, let's just rotate it 180. Let's just do that, and again put it to the side. All right, that's them two. So let's um, let's go around the, this object now and select all these faces. And these aren't very important, so um, let's just go into a polygon, unitize. So now they're all conformed to the same UVs. Uh, let's just let's just shrink them down and bring them out of the way so they're always transparent alright guys so there we go they're out of the way so now we can just go to our UVs drag these across and bring this down alright guys so alright now they're both um, upside down let's just uh, rotate it again rotated the wrong one to begin with but never mind so there we go they're both the right way now so simple as that guys just fiddle about with your UVs and now no matter what uh, texture you put on this object it will be based it'll, it'll, uh, the whole texture will show on this side and this side so really important nice little trick so let's select this uh, export the selection I've called it board in my scene I'm just going to replace it let's export let's replace this so back into Unity and uh, as simple as that guys now as far as the materials go you can just create a new material um, for example we can call this one yellow flag let's change it to um, firstly a transparent and then the vertex lit the transparent is quite important so where's our yellow flag it's in our textures our guides let's just drag it on and let's just put it on here as an example so as you can see the, it's not very good light wise so just change your emissive color to white boom a lot clearer and it's as simple as that guys uh, let's rotate it that, that's quite nice as well so as you can see they're facing the opposite direction we could uh, do something about that in our UV editor as well so uh, let's just select this one and could we select one at the top um, actually swap it around like that to scale it alright guys so oh, don't want to save it as you can see swapped around nicely let's export it again to save our UVs Ex replace it so now uh, the, the flag is there both sides are facing the right way so if I um, let's just do it to the default layer for now so I can show you guys what I'm going to do next um, as you can see I can see the flag in the scene but we don't want to because this is our guide for the developer this is not a guide for the user who's playing the game so 
all we need to do guys um, if you don't know already is create a new layer so I've called the layer guides if you want to create a new layer guys just go to add layer here alright or you can go to edit uh, project settings tags you'll be presented with the same window here and I've just created a new layer on layer 8 so just click this area here and call it a name so and then assign every object you don't want to see in the guides layer so we can call it layer guides simple as that so but we can still see it all we need to do is go to our main camera so that's that and uh, with the culling mask this is on mixed so we want it to show every single layer apart from the guides layer so I've unticked this now so just to show you guys the camera preview here the flag is there but um where is it if we unclick the guides the camera uh, the, the flag will not be showing at all so that's how we deal with that um and that's that for this video guys uh that's your guides so now you can create really complex scenes and use whatever graphic you like use your little board model with your uvs and uh things will go a lot smoother developing so thanks for watching guys hopefully see you in the next video uh see you then thanks for watching